G'day and welcome to another episode of Woolly TV. Today, again, another JS, this one, the bullseye in the hi-fi technology. This is Oki Step Down. So his Raging Bull is his performance board and the bullseye is his step down. So we're gonna try and find some waves to ride this on in semi-okay conditions, not, not pumping. So this one here we've got, this is the exact board I'm gonna ride. It's a 511, 20 and a quarter, two and five eighths at 34.7 liters. It's a little bit more volume than what I normally ride. Uh, probably a litre up to almost two litres more. So we'll give it a crack. It's a lot different. It's got a round tail. I don't usually use round tails in step downs. Uh, it's also got a, with a flatter entry rocker and all the area pushed up under your foot and uh, to the front of the board to help your paddling and also help you drive off your front foot in the deader sections. Flat entry rocker, bit of V through the nose and then into a single double concave. So I'm thinking this thing's gonna go like a rocket, but we need to get out there and have a crack. It's super light too in the, in the hi-fi technology for quite a high volume board. So let's get it out there and have a crack at it. had a great time riding this board. I really didn't think um, it was gonna suit me, but I tried to keep with an open mind when I paddled out. The thing paddled amazingly. And one thing I noticed, even with that little bit of extra volume, it managed to um, connect me through some dead sections on uh, a lot of the waves. You'll see through the clips that the board just wanted to keep carrying over the dead sections into the next section. It had no dramas at all coming off the top. It drove off the bottom turn, like I found myself laying it over on rail through the bottom turns and really projecting out and up into the lip. Uh, carried amazingly in the lip, like doing floaters. And then I did struggle a tiny bit on it with cutbacks, but I think it was just the waves that I was trying to sort of do a cutback on and probably wasn't that well positioned over the board. So I think more me than the board there. Um, also tried a couple of backhand 360s on there, didn't nail any, but I found that the board spun around pretty nicely once you got it pivoting off the top. And I'm sure if you wanted to, if you want to do a few slides or um, yeah, let the tail free with the right fin combo, I, re I reckon it'd go really good. But yeah, big thumbs up from me. The board groveled unbelievable, but then didn't slide out or do anything silly when it was shoulder to head high on a couple of the bigger sets. And we were on a semi-punchy little reef break. So probably not the super groveliest conditions, but I thought with the extra volume at 34.7, it was nice to have a bit more push in the waves to test the board. I rode it with the JS medium FCS2 fins and felt that they were just fine for the board. They felt really good. I didn't ride it as a quad, only rode it as a tri-fin and so far so good on that. Can't wait to actually give it another go. Thanks JS for letting us um, test out the bullseye and the hi-fi technology. And I probably would um, put the bullseye hi-fi into my quiver. I'd probably not do it in a PU. I think this board would be best in a, in a hi-fi. So anyway, thanks for watching another episode of Woolly TV.